Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today we're going to be talking about the remaining facts. We're still in multiplication, so let's take a look. So, first thing I want to do is, I'm going to use some manipulatives, and remember, you don't have to just use blocks. I'm using animal crackers, look at that. So, I'm going to work with three groups of four. Let's take a look at this. So I have one uh, group of four. Oh, these look yummy. Three groups of four. I mean, sorry. Two groups of four, and then here we go. Here's three groups of four. So notice how I arrange them. I try to make it so that they're equidistant apart and, and kind of make a matrix or, you know, just something here where, where we can kind of get a feel for it. You know, if we're looking at four... Uh, four pieces here, sometimes you know that you have, you know, your fives. I don't have any more animal crackers, so I'm going to use a different type of manipulative. Let's just use a coin. So let's take a look at that. Look at that. So if I know my fives, five, ten, fifteen, pretty easy to remember. Take away three is going to be twelve. You can verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Notice how I connected it to something that's known, which is fives. A lot of people know their fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You just keep on adding five. It's not, it's not that bad. So let's transition to something else. Let's look at three times six. Let's take a look at three times six. Now I could make it into a five by doing this here. So there's three times five, five, ten, fifteen, plus three. But also, if you notice how when I have, I have this out as in this, this uh, matrix or an array, I can split it. See how I just split it? Three, six, nine. And if you remember your doubles, nine and nine make 18. See how I'm thinking? I want you to think of your strategy and model it out here, right here like this. Now let's take a look at something else. Okay, boys and girls, let's take a look at 3 times 7. Here we go. So I have three lengths of blocks here with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces in it. Now I could add 1 and split it. Let's not do that. Let's keep it simple. Let's look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we go. So now, Let's take a look at this. Remember your fives, 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. You should know your twos as well. 2, 4, 6. So 15 plus 6 is equal to 21. There you go. Very easy to do this. Eventually you need to know what 3 times 7 is, and that's going to be 21. Next up, we're going to look at 7 times 8. Okay, boys and girls, I have 7 times 8. What do you mean that's 7 times 8? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right? And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pretty much like an array. Let's break this apart a little bit. Let's take a look at it. So, one of the things I really like about 7 times 8 is that we can cut it in half. So let's cut all these blocks in half. Because all we have to do is just find out half of this right now. Let's just look at half. Let's make it manageable. Let's make it something that, that, that you feel comfortable with. Okay, so I'm going to put all these pieces up here, and I'm going to keep these here. Let's take a look. So <clears throat> we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 times 4. Whoa, wait a minute. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 times 2. Hmm. Or we can make it 5 and do the 5's thing. Not going to do that. So we have 28 times 2. Now how do you figure that out? Well, 8 times 2 is 16, so I have a 6. Carry that one, two times two, 
or actually it's 2 times 20, if I say 2 times 2, so 2 times 20 is going to be 40, you add another 1 or 10 to that, so that's going to be 50, so 56, that's what you get. You can count up all these blocks if you want to, I'm not going to do that, but you can break it apart and make it more easy to figure out. We want to make it figure outable. There you go. Next up, 6 times 8. Okay, boys and girls. Here we have, I have 6 times 8. It's the same type of an array. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 8. Now, what can we do with this? Let's roll this out. Okay, All right? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 8. Let's do that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, that was 8 times. See, I was counting in my head at the same time. So, that was, so 40 is 5 times 8. 6 times 8, I'm adding 40 plus 8 is 48. Remember, take that anxiety and put it into fluency. And that'll relieve that. That just gets your math anxiety out of here. Figure out your model to solve these problems. Eventually, you're going to know that 6 times 8 is 48. But until then, break it into pieces that are manageable for you to figure it out. I'm Mr. Woods Teaches. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Thank you.